All right, so I know that I have promised you a Bibster video, but I've got some other business that I gotta finish up right quick. If you follow the channel, you know that like maybe a week or two ago, I built this welding table from weldingtables.com. This is one of their Certi flat tables. But what I didn't mention was that they also sent me a new prototype. I guess prototype's the best word. Plasma table that they're, I think they're gonna look at putting in production. I don't think it's on the site yet. They wanted me to build it. Let them know what I thought about it. Maybe some advice on any kind of upgrades that I felt like it needed. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna put it together. I think that it's kind of like a modular setup that can be attached to this one. Um, so it should end up being the same height, probably the same width. It'll just extend it some if I want, or I can break them apart and use them separately. What I plan to do is make the ultimate plasma station, plasma cart, the ultimate plasma cart. So I'm gonna build this thing. Now I think my, my plasma machine itself will actually be housed within this thing, probably have a catch can and all the accessories that I need. And then I can roll the entire thing around as a plasma cart. At least that's the idea. So let's do this. It's a little, it's a little chilly out here. Tried to get a fire gun, but it hasn't seemed to help much. So anyway, let's get this thing together and uh, see what we're working with. All right, so I've got everything in its place, kind of tacked together. Um, I mean, I just fusion tacked everything. I didn't even put any filler rod in it. I mean, you can see that it's still got some flexibility. I basically just kind of tacked it all, so I knew that it was like I wanted it. And it's relatively flat, because it's on the table. I got it clamped on this side. The beauty of these systems is it kind of corrects itself as you go. So. You know, I haven't even checked to make sure this thing is perfectly square. You know, 90 degrees on the sides. But, once you start to put these plates in, in order for these plates to fit in here, it's gonna have to square itself up. These plates are cut perfectly square. And so like, if it is off any, you're gonna have to straighten that thing out or square it up in order for that plate to fit. So essentially, once the plates are in, it's gonna square the whole thing up. Obviously, I'll check it. If it, you know, it may need to be kind of adjusted very slightly. This, uh, these braces and this thing are nowhere near as thick as the tables are, and so it kind of has a little more flexibility. But once you get these in, check it, double check it, make sure everything's 90 degrees, and then you know you can put a couple clamps on it and then finish weld the bad boy up.
All right, so now the table's done. Everything's pretty much welded together. Uh, you know, all the all the plates, all the ends, I welded really good. Uh, tack the, the center's pretty good, and this thing's not going to go anywhere. It's uh, this will be a lifetime table. So on to the legs. The legs are exactly like the welding table was. Everything is precision trimmed, laser cut, notched. I mean, these things kind of just slip right in. They kind of lock in, and uh, very simple. Very simple. Now kind of just fit everything together and now it's time to weld her up. I'll probably clean it just a little bit, round a lot of these joints, tack it real good, and then she'll be ready to weld. This one's definitely going together a lot faster than the table did, but the table was a lot thicker and a lot more substantial and I welded a lot, I had to weld a lot more of it. Mainly because there's a solid top, there's no solid top on this one. Alright guys, there you go, it's WeldingTables.com's Plasma Station. So, the way this thing's designed, just like all their tables, is it's modular, it's made to attach to these. These tables are actually the same way, so if I had two of these, I could really attach those uh, to make a really long one, say I was going to build a motorcycle frame or something like that. I can attach those together, just like this attaches. So it basically comes with these little dowels. And they go in here and on the ends of these you can see or maybe you can't but this thing's made to slide in there and then it kind of notches in so you'd have to kind of pick the table up and set it on there and it would lock itself in i really like that idea you, know, you could kind of have it as one complete station or you can break it apart and kind of do whatever you want to do with it also also comes with these removable uh gates and I like that they're pointed versus just one solid piece less likely to kind of burn through it while plasma cutting and then obviously they're replaceable this thing went together extremely fast I think um, well obviously because it doesn't have a top to it that was a lot of what took so much time on that one um, this thing I buzzed it up in probably I don't know two hours Everything was done. It might have helped a little bit that I'd already done one. So, you know, as far as legs and stuff, everything was exactly the same. Now, some of the things that I plan to add to this plasma station, 
because I want it to be more of my plasma cart. You know, like you have a welding cart, it has all your welding stuff on it. I want this to be my plasma cart. You know, if I'm gonna plasma cut something on the Bibster or outside, I can roll the whole station over there. The plasma machine itself will be stationed in here. Or if I just wanna cut something on this top, everything's right here, I just plug it all up and go to work. And then when I'm done, I can just tuck it all back up underneath this. So in order to do that, one of the things I'm gonna have to do is make some kind of catch basin for all the sparks and slag and all that stuff that kind of falls through the top. Uh, versus it having, you know, versus having it fall onto my plasma cutter. I want to be able to catch all that stuff, probably funnel it down, have some kind of steel bucket under there that I can, you know, occasionally change or clean up. And then obviously I got to make a place to mount the plasma machine itself. Other than that though, I think this thing is really, really good. It's got a great design to it. You know, I see this being one of those things that lasts forever. Just like the table. So anyway, there you go, the plasma station by WeldingTables.com. If you didn't see the table, I'll link it up. You can go check it out. Got the entire build on that video. And uh, if you're in the market for something like this, go check them out. They make the Certiflat flat welding tables, fixture mounts, and then obviously now, plasma station. Now, I don't know when they're going to have this available, if they even have it available at all. I don't know if this is like a you know, like an experimental thing or if they're gonna actually put it in production. I would assume that's the case. So soon, if you're looking for something like this, pretty soon I would think that it'll be out. You can contact them, they can give you some more information on it. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. This is the last shop tool project. I promise back on the Bibster, the next video will be on the Bibster, promise. Gonna put some more bars in this thing, gonna remove the doors, may even strip some of the paint off and get it back to that bare metal look. We gotta get this thing done. Anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.